hard work brings forth results, and that's how my parents lived. That's all we've ever known is, is hard work and trying to make results out of our efforts. And because of their work ethic. Turn it over to the younger generation. With the way the company's grown, you know, we're about 360 employees today, 15 locations, and we're spread over two states. You know, it was easier in the old days when you were smaller. You were one or two locations. You knew everybody. You know, everybody knew my dad and I, knew our grandparents, what we stood for. You know, it was pretty easy back then, you know, um, to share the same values, same morals, same ethics, so on and so forth. It just becomes more challenging as you grow to the size and scale that we are today. So it became obvious to me that there's just something missing in the organization to really tie it all together. And like I said, if we look back to you know guiding principles, something that guides us, we can use that as a foundation to work off of. For me, guiding principles kind of gives us that, uh, that, that guiding light. It gives them some um, opportunities when, when an employee has to make a tough decision that they can go back to those um, guiding principles and say, it, it, it aligns. To be successful in this business, you've got to have that, that trust, the honesty, the respect. We have to be able to trust people out in the field to convey the the principles that my parents would have uh, believed in. They got to believe in us and the techs, and we're going to do it right, and we're not going to uh, we're not going to cheat them. Well, teamwork today, I think, is even more important than it was back then. We naturally enjoy doing things together. To be successful, you have to have a great team. You have to have a great leader, good leader at least, and and it takes the whole team to do it. You can have the best players out there in the world, but if they're not working together, they're not going to be successful. They're not going to win. Not one department can really give that high level of customer satisfaction or customer experience that we expect to be delivering without all groups working together. There's going to be times where the, the team's going to break down, right? How we deal with that and how we come together makes us so much stronger. Well, I want all of our customers to thrive. If they're thriving, then chances are we're going to do okay too. Uh, you got to be profitable if you're going to pay your bills. <laughs> we need to make sure that first and foremost, we're here for our customers and that we're providing them solutions that will help them thrive uh, in their businesses. Well, I, you know, I, I think we'd, we'd be wrong if we didn't talk about, you know, trying to run a, a profitable business. And we want to see, you know, our employees thrive. We want to see our customers thrive. Strive for excellence. Anybody can be average. We don't want to be second best. We want to try to be the best. Excellence is one that's, that's a little bit tough to pin down uh, specifically, uh, but, um, you know, it's an expectation of high performance. I don't like to lose. <laughs> it's an expectation of professionalism. It's an expectation of uh, making sure our customers are receiving a professional level support, salesmanship. These names didn't come forth from, from me. I didn't choose them. And the employees are the ones who nominated some of these, well, all of these individuals. Now that's not to say that the guy that came in second or third or fourth isn't deserving also, that some of these are hard calls. So many good people that we have, and it, it's a difficult decision because when you, you look across the organization, no matter what you do at Bain Welker, there's, there's so many people 
that just you know reflect this and and really live up to these these guiding principles. When I found out that I won the award for Thrive, <laughs> I like had a bunch of question marks and I was like, okay, what does this mean to me? Um, so I thought about it all weekend and I asked my sister, I was like, what does Thrive mean? And she was like, well, I ran into Brad at the at the hardware store and he said you emailed him at eight o'clock this morning on a Sunday. So um, I think really it's it's that constant like wanting of more. I mean, I never expected an award. So. <laughs> I'm grateful for it. I love working here. Always have, always been treated like family. I'm very thankful I, I, for my time that I've spent here so far and I appreciate getting this award. Uh, Michaela told me, I think it was Friday afternoon there, so I kind of explained what the award was. And it is a humbling thing to, to receive it, so I am grateful for it. I'm, I'm really proud of each and every one of them. Um, I'm proud of, of everyone that um, was in the running for these awards. I mean, I'm proud of our whole organization. You know, our, our grandparents were very proud people. A big thank you, number one, because <laughs> like I said earlier, we can't do it by ourselves. We're not, we're not a four-employee organization anymore. Now we're, we're much larger than that. And uh, I just appreciate everyone that puts forth a, an excellent effort and for everything that they do for us and for themselves and their families. It's pretty humbling just to reflect back at, at the journey that, that my family's been on and just, you know, as the organization's grown and, and the company gets older in age, most people don't know who Pat and Kenneth Bain are. There's probably very few people, you know, left in the organization that knew them or if, if they knew them, had enough of a relationship with them to, to really know what they stood for. There's a lot of emotions for me, I guess, when I, th when I think back on it, both personally and professionally, in, in terms of my own development, having learned so much from them. Um, you know, at the time, I probably didn't think of them as mentors at the time, but I guess at the stage in life that I'm at now, it's, it's like, gosh, you know, um, they were naturally teaching me things all along the way here, and there were, there were a lot of times I, I probably didn't agree with it or understand it or, you know, so on and so forth. And, um, you know, I, w I wouldn't be sitting here today and we wouldn't be sitting here as a company, um, you know, celebrating uh, this season, um, you know, had they not taken the risk and done the things that, that they did. And that's why this uh, Pat and Kenneth Main Award, I think, is special because of their work ethic and they instilled that in their children. And grandchildren and, and, and in the people that work at our business. So, you know, if you, if you don't want to work, you probably don't need to be here. <laughs> well, anyway, we boys, boys worked hard, still working.